Hey, how's it going? It's the, the second instalment of 12 Things in 12 Months. I've been learning origami for February. Um, bought loads of paper. I mean, the paper is proper origami paper as well. You can use, you use normal plain paper if you wanted to, but I got this off eBay for like quid 50. There's different colours and some flowery and stuff. There is two different thicknesses as well, which is quite handy because some of the stuff I've made is like not many folds, but you can use the thicker paper. If there's more folds, then you can use the thin paper, and that's quite handy. <coughs> I'm gonna quickly make a flappy bird. Flappy birds are awesome, just for the fact that they actually do something. Because a lot of origami, it's really, really like intense with the folds and how they look and stuff like that. They don't really do anything. They're more of an ornament. With the flappy bird, it actually does something, which. Is obviously flap, you'll see in a second. Um, I never thought bits of paper could be so much fun. I've been loving it just for the fact that it's a little bit. Um, so I'm really bad at multitasking, I can't talk and do things at the same time. It's a bit challenging on the brain because if you learn how to do it, then you've got to learn all the member, member all the folds and stuff like that. Um, I learned from watching people on YouTube do it. I've read a couple of books as well. But, I mean, you can read as many books as you want, but I'm more of a visual person. I like to actually see people do it and pretty much remember how to do it straight away. But, I mean, the bit I'm making at the minute is like that they call it the base bird model. And it's basically from a certain point that's where you'd make most of the birds in origami because a lot of times if you make a crane you'd have two different folds that you would do to the flappy bird this bit is the hardest bit it's called the petal fold and basically you've got your start off with like you fold up to that point then you've got to fold that bit, these bits inside and you've got to lift that whole bit up and kind of fold inside like that hope everyone, everyone enjoyed my last video by the way so it's, it's only a bit of fun I mean people take it seriously and stuff and it's like it's, they're not tutorial videos or anything like that it's just literally what I've learned and I've, I like to share things I like to let people know but thank you for all the support that everyone gave me. Everyone's saying it's a, a good idea what I'm doing. Right. At this point, that is called cool. that is basically your bird model. So you've got two little flappy bits at the bottom, two bits at the top. You can see like these will be the wings. If you took if you did two more folds, or four more folds, because there's four of them, these bits inside you get your crane, which will look like that. Yeah. That's a crane, the story behind the cranes and stuff like that. It's, it's mostly made from um, weddings and stuff like that in Japan. For uh, The father of the bride would make a thousand cranes for the bride and groom. It's basically, it should bring them eternal peace, eternal happiness and stuff like that. But in the cranes, they're good. I mean, any origami, to be fair, is good for presents and um, things. I'll show you one that I made um, my girlfriend for her birthday later. And that's the most intense thing I've ever made. It took me absolutely ages. Right. So you get to that point, and you can see you've got two little bits there. What you need to do is just fold them down so they're, they're level in. Because with the crane, these bits would actually be thinner. You still do the same sort of thing. So one of them's going to be head, one's going to be the tail, that one's the better fold, so that bit can be the head, and then you fold the wings forwards. You can fold them little bits out to just make them stand up a bit, but not really bother. Give them a bit of a tweak. And there you go.
and that gun. That's probably one of my favourite things to make, just because it flies. Um, yeah, crane is slightly different if you look at the, look at the bird. The necks and the tails are a little bit thicker, just the fact you fold it inwards as well. Um, also made some water bombs. I'm not going to bore you with everything I make because it's a lot of fold and stuff. And so I'm not really good at talking at the same time as doing stuff, but that's your water bomb. Put a little hole at the top, fill up the water, and lob it at the same um, The jumpy frog, I'll try and make the jumpy frog quickly because, again, it is something that does something. I'll give a couple of people a left work the other week, it's a couple of jumpy frogs. Um, you can play games with them. We were sitting in the pub the other day and I made one. I'm going to try and get it in the top of a pint glass, which I was pretty rubbish at. But, never mind. Yeah, there's the centre paper. It doesn't fold as well, but because a lot of times with things like the jump and the frog, it's got more folds in it, so you don't want the thicker paper. I mean the paper and stuff like that, you can get an A4 bit of paper and make it into a, to fold it diagonally into a triangle, it's got a lip at the bottom, cut the lip off and it makes it square, so it's easy enough to, you don't have to buy the expensive paper or anything like that, it's just do whatever you want. Let's do this really, really quickly. I'm using my ukulele for, <laughs> so I haven't got any boards or anything like that. I've got DVD cases, but I think it looks a bit dodgy when you're making something on a DVD case. Just make sure everything neat and tidy and tight in. relaxing things I've ever done as well. It's just really soothing and therapeutic. It's not going to be the neatest things because I'm trying to rush it because I don't want to bore you. A lot of the videos on YouTube they take like 17 minutes and stuff. And obviously because they're instructional videos, it's, it's good they actually take the time to do it. Right, that's quite cool by itself, it's like a little jumping table. But with your frog, you take the end bits, fold them inwards. frog shape and you take his backside, fold it into the point of where the, the legs fold out. And this is the trickiest bit which I might have to concentrate on a little bit because you've got to fold these bits inside here. Which sometimes goes completely wrong. But hopefully when I'm filming it it's not going to be. basic frog shape and you've got to fold him in on himself so he's doing like a pike and then he folds his back end in on itself as well it's quite cruel on the old frog it's quite, it's quite painful but in the end we get a jumping frog which do actually jump right this is the one I wanted to show you. This is the thing that took me a good, like nearly three quarters of an hour to an hour because I was watching the YouTube video and because it's, it's a cube, obviously, 
there's three different green bits and the three different red bits. So the guy in the video <laughs> cheekily like made one of the sections, which takes that took me about ten minutes to do. Going backwards and forwards and looking at the same bit again, and like he done that, and then he sl like, slowly slid another two that he'd already made, and I was like, yeah, cheers for that. So the stop, go back again, do it all again. But a simple box. But this is see, this is the things that like when they do something. They are really impressive because all you do is you pop these little bits out here and there's a little green bit that pops out. You do that all the way around. All you do is pull everything out. So you can twist, you've got to be gentle with it because it is just paper. And it is a rose. And <laughs> really, really impressed me when I've actually done it. I'll give you give um, my girlfriend Tracy that for her birthday. I mean it's good for Valentine's Day or just any sort of day of the week. It's cheaper than buying flowers and it's probably a lot lot cooler as well. And then you kinda just Dig away. Fold everything back up again, and it's a cube. That's fine, isn't it? Right, that's it. Um, next month, I'll be using these. doing balloon animals, balloon modelling, and that's probably going to be a little bit harder than origami, and probably learn the ukulele and, and all put together, but um, it'll be quite fun to watch anyway, so cool, see you later.